Hello, everybody. Oh my god, okay. Episode 4. Or walkthrough number 4. Or, yeah, I don't know. Something like that. Bruh, last time I uploaded... The last episode was like... 3 weeks ago, holy shit. Damn, it's been so long. Oh my god, yeah. Four, look at this. Four, 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 three weeks ago. It's crazy. Okay, anyways. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't had much time lately. Because, uh... I've been busy living. Being an adult, you know? Working. Eight hours a day. It's crazy. It sucks. It sucks being an adult. No cop. So, uh, where did I leave off? Okay, let's go. I think I left it up here. Yeah, yeah. Um, is this is it this one? Cause it's not this one. Uh, I should leave school and go straight to the neighboring town, but I'm worried about Tosaka. Ooh, ooh. You know, you know. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta save. How do I save? Save. Bro, we going, um, comments. I think we're going, um, Sakura. Yes, sir. Okay. I'm worried about Sakura. Wait, 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 wait. Um, load. Is it this one? Oh god, it's so confusing. This engine is so old. This game is like 15 years old and Okay. Let's go. I think I think I got it right. Yeah, let's go. Okay, 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 okay. I'm worried about Sakura. I'm doing the Sakura route first. Skip this scene. I'm only I'm doing it first because um I watched it it was the only one it's the one I watched recently. The other two routes I watched like a long time ago. Or, but yeah, so yeah, that's what I'm planning to do. I'm worried about Sakura. I don't know if. Oh shit! Fireworks. Oh shit! Can you guys hear that? Oh damn! Is it doing fireworks illegal? I'm pretty sure. Wait, what? I'm pretty sure like only government can do that shit. No? Am I wrong? Okay. Dun, dun, school hallway. I'll walk through the floor floor where the first year students are located. Wait. No way, they have four floors. Oh damn, that's a big school. There's no one in the hallway and not many left in the classrooms either. It seems they're already gone home or to their clubs. <laughs> Well, I can meet me. I go to her classroom and when I've checked, she's not there. I can head to work. I look into classroom 1B. Holy oh, crap. That's so loud. It sounds so cool. I wish I could see it, man. The red tinted classroom is quiet and there's no sign of life. There's no one in the classroom. All the students have gone to their respective destinations. In that red classroom, a lone shadow remains. Sakura! Sakura! What, what is she doing? I hit the red rose and call out to her. Senpai! Senpai! The face covered by her long hair looks even more lifeless than this morning. No, Sakura! Dude, this route fucking sucks. But it's good. Oh, it's so good. Oh, this route is probably my favorite. Fantastic route. どうしたんですか? 
Damn, I don't remember what happened last last time I played. You're lying. Sakura, stop lying. She picks up her bag and starts to walk like she's running away. Baga! So Okay. I grab Sakura's hand as she tries to pass me. Uh, I, I grab your hand. Sek Sekurasu. Bro, that's sexual harassment. A crash. Sakura almost falls over from just being grabbed. Choto. I quickly pull her hand back. The body I'm dragging is surprised. It's surprisingly light. Damn, she's not eating well. Hey, Sakura, are you okay? Sakura looks away apologetically. Jeez, what's wrong with her today? What is wrong with her? What the heck? Anyways, you're sleeping. Sakura is silent and does not answer. She doesn't shake my hand off, but it also seems she will go home obediently. Oh, Nisa, Nisa, fucking Shinji. Sakura mutters. If she says so with a face like that, I can't respond. It seems the circumstances at Sakura's house are complicated and they're not so they're not something I can meddle with. Oh yeah. She's getting oh my god. No matter how much I think she's part of my family, her real family is the Matos. Okay, but okay buddy. Whatever I say, they're just the words of an outsider. Sakura. Sakura. Pull out the chair and sit on it. I also pull another chair from the desk and next to it. いいから座れ。座れ。部活に行くのはもう止めない。その代わり、もうちょっと休んでいけ。真治には俺から誘われて断るのに時間がかかったって言えばいい。そんなこと言えません。そんなこと言ったら。おお、ノー。ノー。先
Outside the window is a glowing sunset that hurts my eyes. Hey, don't stare into the sun too long, man. You're straight. That's gonna, you're gonna ruin your eyes. Sakura stares blankly at the sunset. I have nothing to talk about, so I follow Sakura's example and keep my mouth shut. Time passes slowly since we're not talking. Sakura isn't the talkative type, and she often just stares out at the scenery. scenery. I guess she's more relaxed by herself. She just doesn't want to talk to you, bro. She just, she just doesn't want to talk. Come to think of it, Sakura wants to be alone a lot. It's not like she's excluding herself from the crowd, but she wants to isolate herself within the crowd. She looks outside the crowd more than in it. That must be why she stayed here in the classroom. Sakura doesn't actively try to spend time with the others. Fujine and I are special. Even I wouldn't have known her if I hadn't met Shinji. Oh damn, she looks gorgeous. I sneak a glance at Sakura. Doki, Doki, Doki. When Shinji introduced me to her four years ago, she was just a small girl. Ah! Now she's my she's now she's my now she's my junior who comes to help around the house, and her childish image is disappearing. Bro, damn. Sakura has grown beautiful. Uh oh, Doki Doki. No, she was beautiful. She was beautiful before, but I think she's becoming too beautiful as a member of the opposite sex. Doki Doki, bro, this guy. It's, oh my God, he's falling in love even more and more. On top of that, she's thoughtful and gentle. With that many good qualities, I could understand her being called beautiful alongside Tosa Karin. Oh my god. Okay, buddy. But it's strange, I don't understand it. Sakura is alone often. She doesn't seem to have any friends in the archery club, and seeing how she's alone in this classical classroom, she might not have any friends in her class either. Come to think of it, I only know Sakura from the archery club and from my place. I don't know she is at school. I don't know how she is at school or at home. Oh my god, you don't wanna know man. Don't wanna you don't wanna know how she is at home. It's best to just, just, just never know, you know? There are just some things you don't you just don't need to know, don't want to know. And it's just gonna affect you if you know. Just 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 just, just don't know, you know? Just don't know, you know? Say bye. Do you remember? Oh, is this the pole vaulting? Oh, it is. It's the meme. It's the meme, guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> I really wonder how it ended up like that. Oh my god, it's that. It's, it, 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 it's it. This is it. A smile. It must be a lovely memory as Sakura is smiling happily. It, this is it. Oh my god. <laughs> みんなばっかで。<笑> Zokin was also watching. Zokin. The, the insect. Fucking insect! I understand, but I wonder what she's talking about. I don't think it's strange to see someone practicing even after school. Oh my god, she's evil. Damn. 
てきっこないことを繰り返して全然泣き言を言わなかったんです、はあそりゃよっぽど切羽詰まってたんじゃないのか明日がレギュラー選定でその高さを飛べないと選ばれないとか Damn, the idiot doesn't know. It was you, Baka Yaro. Yes, so it's a guy. That's a nice job. I see. Well, that's fine. But why are you smiling, Sakura? So it is, ne? That's a nice job. I'm going to get it. 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 自分のできないことにぶつかってなら負けないぞって意地を張ってただけなんですそうして日が落ちてその人は一人で片付けをして帰っちゃいましたすごく疲れてるのに何でもなかったみたいに平然とどっか行っちゃったんですうんわかんないやつだなけどやめたってことは飛べたんだろそいつそれ何メートルぐらいの高さだったんだ<笑>これがですね結局飛べなかったんですその人<笑>ほらダーマーそういうのが飛べないって納得しただけなんです<笑>うわ落ちてないなそのはいあんまりにもまっすぐすぎてその人の心配をしちゃったぐらいですその人はきっとすごく頼りがいのある人なんですけどそこが不安で寂しかったうんはあ話は分かったけどそれが何だってんだよさくら Damn look at this lighting guys Fucking killer That shading is That's sick bro いえわからないのならいいんです。私にはそう見えただけで、その人自身にとっては日常茶飯事だったということで。Despite her gloomy mood earlier, Sakura smiled sweetly. Sweetly. And then, even though I'm pretty dull, I understand when she puts it like that. I don't remember it myself, but four years ago was right after my father died. Back then, I did lots of reckless things, so I guess did, I did something like that. さくらつまりそれははい今私の前にいる上級生さんでしたあしんしんじしんじまとおいまつねファキンあの頃は小柄だったから同じ学年かなって勘違いしちゃったんですうわっ I wish she, had, she wouldn't talk about my height back then. Yeah, <laughs> short stuff. Well, I'm not that tall. E I'm not that tall even now, but I did grow. You know, you know, you know. So you know? you this. Dude, you're fucking. Some of the kids are not that tall. Bro, you're like five six. Holy shit. That's it. I've known senpai since. Oh, so good. まあ、それは初耳 I look, to, I look away she saw me during an embarrassing moment Huh? Short? Huh? Short? はい私たち同じものを見てたんです With a gesture like a prayer Sakura says something strange え何 I ask feeling weird Feeling weird? But as if turning out, the familiar bell echoes through the school. It's been 30 minutes since I stopped Sakura. The clock says 4.30. She's not gonna make dinner tonight. Sakura gets up. It doesn't seem like she's bluffing as she, she really seems well. I just know it. It's not gonna happen. Sakura. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Okay. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. 
Sakura so bells and leaves. <sighs> oh well. Virginia will be at my house, so she should be able to take Sakura home when she leaves. I have to make a living too, so I should go to work quickly. Yeah, man. Work, work, work. Endless cycle, man. Never stopping. Keep working and working and working. Sucks. 20 minutes after taking the bus from my school, I arrive at the neighboring town of Shinto. Across the bridge. The school approves of students having part-time jobs, so I work a few easy ones. I prefer hard physical labor that ends as quickly as possible. It's killing two birds with one stone as it builds my body while I get paid for it. True. Today's job is simple loading. It's a simple loading job from my from 5 to 8 o'clock. Oh, three hours. I mean, it's only three hours. There's six hours worth of work to do. They make you run around with a, without a minute's rest. So I should rest when I can, even if it's just for 10 minutes. It's a waste of energy walking around until my job, so I guess I'll rest in the park. Rest in the park. Oh, damn. Did he draw this too? Holy shit. That looks real. Super realistic. This park among the buildings is like a big field. A park should be filled with people like families and lovers on weekends, but it's empty here now. No shit, buddy. No, this place is always desolate. I'm a bit sad. The utterly neglected ground looks awful compared to the neatly organized surroundings. Yeah, that shit looks... It's like a regular field you just drive by when you're going somewhere really far, you know? Like a... F just like, oh my god. The desolate area makes the wind feel cold. This is the remains of the, of the conflagration 10 years ago. And this is the place where I was saved from burning to death. Oh, I see. Damn, it grew so fat. I mean... Well, it has been 10 years. Understandable. It's a large area, so if they retiled it, the park would get bigger. Thinking back up absent mindedly, I sat down on a bench. I stared at the burned land to pass the time. I don't remember what happened here back then. I probably don't remember because I was a kid and it wouldn't have been an easy scene to remember memorize. All I can remember is that it was hot and I couldn't breathe, and that people died trying to save others. For example, when an adult tried to save a child from a burning house, he saved the child but died in its place. Sad. For example, there was people who had their throats burned, but they gave what little water they had to one guy, and the others died. Died a hero, but nobody's gonna remember you for it. <laughs> Feels bad. For example, there was someone who ran alone to get away from the fire as fast as possible, and everyone that he passed on the way died. Damn, that guy's a piece of shit, huh? And for example, people who died because they gave away something that was saving them, only to save others, didn't even know. They didn't. They didn't even know. I didn't like things like that. It makes me mad that those who tried hard were sacrificed. Am I greedy to want an ending where everybody is safe and happy? All I wanted was to see people relax peacefully. So why couldn't I manage? To such a simple thing. Kiritsugu answered so to the question I asked as a child. You can't save everybody. Of course, as a child, I denied it. Because Kiritsugu saved me, I knew he was a sorcerer who could do anything. I knew he was a superhero who couldn't ignore people in need, who saved them for no benefit. 
so I believed Kiritsugu could have saved everyone back then. When I told him that, he made a troubled expression and said that I remember, said something I remember to this day. Shiro. Shiro. Can't save everybody. I understand that. It's obvious now that he said it. Let's say there's a robber and some hostages, and the robber intends to kill the hostages. With normal methods, most of the hostages will die, will be killed. Even if you use a miraculous method to save all the hostages, there will still be one person who isn't saved. That, of course, is the robber whose hostages were rescued. The people a superhero saves are only those who he decides to save. That's why even God cannot save everyone. I was about to say something blasphemous. Good thing I stopped myself. The fire 10 years ago was like that. It's not something I was, I who was miraculously saved from it can talk about now. I don't want such a thing. I don't want help that has unlimited capacity. You have to help, no matter how impossible it is. I can't understand to have strangers dying around me like back then. So if I had been there 10 years ago, even if it was impossible, I would have gone into the fire and burned to death. You would have been burnt. You would have been crisp. That's for certain. I would rather die in like frozen like hypothermia than being burnt to, to death you know that's just brutal it's less painful you gotta you always gotta choose the less painful route you know jeez i'm so hopeless yes you are five o'clock bell rings i stand up and quickly made my my way to work When my job's done, the sun has already set. It's a bit before 8. I finished 10 minutes early because I worked too hard. It seems I worked frantically since I went to that place before I, before work. Here in front of the station, the night's just getting started. There are lots of people and constant flow of cars on the road. The buildings are still lit up, and just looking at them makes me feel like I'm watching a grand festival of illumination. illumination. I walk while looking at the lighted building. It's the biggest building in Shinto, so I can't see the top clearly. I just gaze up at the building, just enjoying the night scenery. When I think something like, when I think I see something out of place. What was that? Oh, is it her? I stop and stare at the rooftop. I focus my eyes looking at this, at the thing as small as a grain of rice. <coughs> it looks like someone I know. Why is she there? What would she be doing there? With her long hair fluttering and doing nothing. She looks down at the town. Doesn't seem like she notices me down here. No, there's no way she could see me. She's so high up that up that I will with better eyesight than most can barely see her by improving my vision with magical energy. If she could see you, you could see her. You know, it works both ways. I can recognize her since she's standing there alone, but there's no way. She would notice me down here among all these people. She's just looking down at the town. Maybe she's looking for something, as I can feel her sharp stare even down here. She's looking at you! I forget about time and keep looking up at the girl standing in the sky. She is on top of a tall tower. She's like a witch, 
looking down at the earth with no with the moon behind her. <coughs> and then she must be done with her whatever she was doing as she disappears. Her figure has disappeared and the scene returns to the beautiful view of the night. I have no proof, but I think I'm right. You're just crazy. There aren't many girls with that with looks that stand out that much. And more than that, I'm not stupid enough to mistake a girl I secretly admire. <laughs> well, it's... Tosaka sure has strange hobbies. <laughs> Yes, she has hobbies. She likes to go up on very tall sky buildings and look down on people. She's got superiority complex. True, true, maybe. Just a little bit. I return to Miyama City. Unless she told, it's really quiet, quiet here as if it were midnight already. Sakura, I'm I wonder if Sakura's okay. She seemed to be feeling better, but since she came to my place to make dinner, I think I've made her push herself again. It's not like I'll achieve anything by going to her house now, but it should make me feel better than doing anything, than doing nothing. There's no sign of this strange foreigner Sakura was talking about. And the lights are only in Sakura and Shinji's room as usual. Uh, huh? Wait a minute. Then what was the light yesterday? Was there someone other than Sakura and Shinji in the house? No! Oh my god, this guy is so stupid. Of course! Oh no. Oh no! I spin around. In the darkness of the night, as if hiding in the sound of the bugs, a figure is standing. Oh no. Oh, it's Zoken. Fucking cockroach rat. Cockroach shit. He must be really old, but he has sharp eyes and a presence that doesn't match his small body. Perhaps it is the difference in the years we have lived, but he has dignity and pressure as me. Shut up, Zoken. Fucking wrinkly old bastard. Then could this person be? Maitano,孫の頼みだ。見過ごしておくわけにもいくまい。見ず知らずのお前さんには申し訳ないが、少し痛い目にあってもらわねばならん。やれやれ。念のため聞いておくが、潔く攻撃の厄介になる気はないか。ああ、いや、違います。俺は真珠の同級生で、桜とは知り合
、うん、なんですか。リンコル、リンクリー、ビーフジャーキー、プローニー、ルーキナス。トモケルでない。アインツベルの娘がエミアを訪ねるは通り、コタビの座の出来はどうかと、とておる。クエスクエスチョンバーク Uh, I don't understand at all. わからないです。I'm sorry, Sakura, but your old man is pretty hard to deal with. Hmm. Do you ever hold to me, Shiran Rashina? Delusional old man. Get back to the ward. We should put this guy in a ward hospital. He's crazy. Keep, lo- keep him locked up in there forever. He looks so shocked and I feel kind of sorry for him. <sighs> よくわかりませんけどすみませんいやいやお主が気に病むことはないわしの勘違いじゃそら孫たちに用があるのなら遠慮することはない年寄りはいいんあいやあ今日は本当に寄っただけです住んでおるとも I do, but as you can see, 最も見ての通りの老体で日がない一日遅く I see I came to their house until about a year ago, but it seemed that then that no one other than Sakura and Shinji lived here. They were Shisre Shirozo, Amy Ashirok, Uchino Uchino Mago. Despite his appearance, he leaves with light footsteps. There is no change in the house, but the sound of bugs has suddenly stopped. Stupid, stupid cockroach. The day ends, finishing a rowdy dinner and seeing Fujine, I take, a, I take a bath. After that, I practice my daily routine in the shed. I complete it as usual and go to sleep. It is one in the morning, and the day, the day ends peacefully with no troubles. Fujine! No, do not skip day two. Fire. I am in a fire. Collapsing buildings and burning people. No matter how far I run, the scenery is always red. This is a vision of ten years ago. A memory of the distant past I haven't remembered in a while. I run through it as if creating, recreating the scene. There's no escape, even though it's a dream. I run, 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 keep running. In the end, where I end up is how I'm saved after running out of energy. I wake up with a bad feeling. I feel like a metal weight is inside my chest. I feel like my forehead and f- Find what I'm sweating. Find that I'm sweating a lot even though it's winter. <sighs> it's already past six o'clock from the kitchen. I can hear the sound of kitchen knife cutting something. Sakura, Kesa mo hayai na. Kesa mo hayai na. There's no time to be impressed. I have to get ready quickly and go to help fix breakfast. シロ、今日どうするのよ土曜日だから午後はアルバイトいやバイトは入ってないよ一世のところで何かやってると思うけどそれがどうかしたかうん別に暇だったら道場の方に遊びに来てくんないかなーって私今月ピンチなのだんピンチって何がお財布事情がピンチなの。誰かがお弁当を作ってくれると嬉しいんだけどな。断る。自業自得。たまには一食ぐらい抜いた方がいい。意義あり。It's your own fault. You so you should keep. ふんで、シロには期待してないもん。私が頼りにしてるのはさくらちゃんだけなんだから。ね、さくらちゃん。ね、さくらちゃん。はい。私と同じものでよろしければ。用意しておきますね、先生。うん、先生。オッケー、オッケー。じゃあ今日は一緒にお昼を食べましょう。Breakfast continues as usual. 
Today, along with the usual, there's simmered lotus root with chicken. Lotus root. Sound interesting. Uh, I don't think she has to make anything this elaborate for breakfast, but I think she made a lot of it to take for lunch too. Uh. Sakura is a member of the archery club, and Fujine is in charge of the archery club. It's natural for them to share lunches. So yeah, Bashiro. Kesa wa osoka ta kedo nan ka atta? He was. He had a morning wood. No wonder he was sweating. He probably had a wet dream. Fujine looks at me, slipping in her miso soup. She's so she's usually she's usually slow, but she gets sharp only at times like these. Mukashi no yume o mita. Nezame ga sugge waru katta dake de. Ato wa nanto mo nai. Nanda, itsu mo no koto ka. Nara anshin kana. Morning wood. Stop lying, man. Fujine ends the conversation like she's not interested. I'm not worried at all but about it either, but so I shouldn't get mad about it. Ten years ago, I used to have nightmares back when I couldn't get the fire out of my mind, but I saw less of it as time passed. I'm well over it now that I can let it slide even after dreaming about it. But I guess it was pretty bad back then since Fujine has been here since that time. She's so she's sensitive to my change. Shiro, I'm also hungry. I'm, uh, I'm hungry. Shiro is strong enough to make me feel a little bit better. We make fun of each other without looking at each other. That proves my live, my live, liveliness, and Fujine laughs with relief. <laughs> To be honest, I'm glad she's worrying, but she'll be elated if I thank her, so I act like I'm discontented. Question mark? Not knowing the circumstances, Sakura looks puzzled <laughs> at the way we're acting. Haha, <laughs> she's so cute. After Fujine leaves, we lock the house and leave. There's nothing, there's not much you can lock. Look at that. I feel like someone could just bust through that easily. You know, that's how Japanese houses are. Sakura, what's up? You don't have any energy. No, your body is good. There's no problem with the senpai. Do you have any energy? Yesterday's bruise? Oh, that welt on my left hand. She must be worried about something as she continues to stare at me. Ah, I don't know. なんだよ。昨日からお菓子増作ら。こんなのただの餡だろ。それとも何か？俺が寝てる間にさくらが踏んづけてできた餡だとか。うん。先輩。先輩。私はただ。ただそれ。その。私はそう思います。私はただ。
Yeah. Clean cleaning. Thanks. I leave Sakura who has club activities and head to the school building. The schoolyard is full of spirited students running around. But still, there's something oddly wrong here. The school is like it always is. Oh shit. Sorry guys, I'm gonna play some different game. Maybe it's just my imagination. There you go. Whoa! But when I close my eyes, the air completely changes. The school building is covered with stains like membranes, and the students running around the schoolyard seem like empty dolls. I shake my head to clear it. I head to the lifeless building. Ah, oh, it's going exactly how I want it to. Perfect. Perfect. School ends early on Saturdays. They have school on Saturdays? Yeah, yeah. Damn, Japan is crazy. Classes end before noon and after I finish helping Issei, the sun is starting to set. I pack up and leave my classroom. And then... Nanda. Uh, bro, get off. Get the fuck out of here. I bump into Shinji. There are a couple of girls behind him being rowdy. What the fuck? Ah,そうか。また生徒会にごますってたわけね。いいね、宮は。部活なんてや。生徒会の手伝いじゃないぞ。学校の備品を直すのは生徒として当たり前だろ。よく言うよ。エミアに言わせれば何だって当たり前だからね。うん、うん、すまん。よく覚えていない。それ信二の口癖だと思っていたから、どうも聞き流してたみたいだ。てへ
Carbon based bows are good, unlike wood and plastic bows. But the biggest problem is the price, and they're not something we could buy with the club budget. Back then, Shinji was the only one using it. Are the new members rich too? Well, I guess that's personal taste right there. When I look at the clock, it's way past curfew. Nah, that's just how broke broke boys think, Shinji. You broke. It's a little after 7 o'clock. The gates should be closed by now. So there's no reason to rush now. But still. Was this dojo always this dirty? There are loads of places that look unkept. <laughs> I've started this, so I'll finish the job. I'll finish the job. Finish the job correctly. Once you start something, you finish it. That's how that's how that's how you're supposed to do things, you know. The wind is blowing. It's so cold that my cheeks are getting numb. Fuyuki City isn't usually cold. Usually cold during the winter, but it is cold tonight of all nights. <sighs> My breath hangs around as a white cloud. I wrap up my body to hold off the cold. There's no light in the sky when I look up. Because of the strong winds, the clouds are moving fast. It's past curfew and there's no sign of life in the empty school. It seems this place is filled only with chill. As it's all silent. <laughs> Here it is. I think I hear something. That night. I must have been curious about the sound that broke the silence. This night. To investigate it, I find myself heading there even though I somehow know that I mustn't. I get to the schoolyard. People. People? Well, they only look like that from a distance. It's a dark night with no light. If I want to know more, I'll have to go closer to the schoolyard. I can hear the sounds louder. It's the sound of metal hitting metal. That must mean someone is fighting with weapons here. <laughs> what the hell am I thinking? Exactly, man. Just run. I dismiss the image from my mind with a bitter smile and walk on. At that time, maybe my instincts noticed the danger as I hid myself. As I approached, I don't know if this is fortunate or not, but anyways, when I get by a tree that is big enough to hide myself, I take a closer look at the source of the sound. Ooh. Battle! My mind stops completely. What are they doing? They're, they're, oh, they're trying to kill each other. Oh my god, is that, oh, there's something strange there. A man in red and a man in blue. They are dangerously armed and as their ominous appearance suggests, they are actually slashing each other. At each other. Whoa, I can't understand. I can't follow them with my eyes. My brain does not work properly. Faced with their impossible movements. They're so fast. But the clang of weapons tells me they are trying to kill each other. Oh no. I just knew immediately when I saw them. They are not human. They are probably just things that look like humans. I can tell, not not because I'm learning ma magic. Anyone would realize they're not human. After all, humans can't move like that. Well, you won't know unless you try, you know. So they are something no one else should associate with. I can feel their murderous intent even from a distance. I'm going to die. My body understands faster than my brain that I will definitely die if I stay here. That's why my heart is racing so fast. As a living thing like them, I sense that they're living things made only to kill. Fansa! They're using weapons made only to kill. I remember the murder yesterday. They said the family was killed with some weapon like a sword. I shouldn't watch any longer. But my body won't follow my commands, and I can't even breathe. My mind wants to run away, but my judgments tell me I'll be seen the moment I run away. Yeah, you'll be seen, my guy. Don't even try. What in the conflict within me, my body is just numb. 
even though I'm over 40 meters away, I can't breathe properly and it's like I have a spear pointed right at my back. Run, Shiro, run! The sounds stop. The figures separate and stand facing each other. The moment I feel relief at the end of their battle, I sense an even stronger intention to kill. My heart stops. The numbness in my body becomes convulsions and I clench my teeth to hold, to try to hold my trembling body. What the hell? What the- WHAT THE HELL ARE YOU?! WHAT THE FUCK?! An overwhelming amount of magical energy is flowing into the guy. Is flowing into the guy in blue. Oh, uh, Gay bulk? Kritsugu showed me once that it's like to draw in magical energy from the surroundings. It was a beautiful magic that impressed even an amateur like me. But that thing is different. It's made to kill. So even a simple task of drinking water could seem ugly if it goes too far. What he is doing is so expensive that anyone with knowledge of magic energy would hate it. He's going to die. The guy in red is going to die. It's a blow with that much concentrated magical energy. There's no way he'll be able to survive it. He'll die. He'll die. He's not human. So something really like a human will die. That is. That's. That's. That's something I can just ignore. Me being a justice man, I have to jump in there and save the guy. That's what he's thinking. I bet. I swear to God, that that takes my mind off my off of them. The binds on my body disappear, and the instant I take a deep breath. Darda. Darda. Kansa. The guy in blue stares at me. Who's hiding? <gasps> He's been caught. Run! Run! The blue guy's body sinks. Just that motion tells me that I'm his target now. Oh, you dead, boy. You dead, boy. Run, boy. My legs start running automatically. I finally realize that it is an action to escape death. And I put all the energy in my body into running away. See, we're... There's two... There's two things that operate in our mind when we're faced with danger, you know? Fight or flight. You know? I would fight. Because I'm not a pussy like this little bitch. I would fight. Even though I die, I would fight. Yeah, I'm not a coward. Oh, I will. I will. I will fight. I will get stabbed in the heart and die. But I will, I will punch him. I'll slap him in the face, you know? I don't know how fast I ran, but before I know it, I'm in the school building. <laughs> Very stupid. I regret my actions, panting heavily. I should have run into town to get away. What am I doing fleeing to such a deserted place and a, and a school of all things? Isn't there some better place to hide than here? Under the desks! Go to one of the rooms! Anyways, why do I think I'll be killed if I don't escape? <sighs> My heart aches from running so much. Turning around, I can sense nothing pursuing me. The only sound in the air is the sound of my footsteps. <sighs> so I can finally rest. I stop my feet, unable to take another step, send oxygen to my pumping heart. I look up to finally realize that I am safe. <laughs> you are not safe. <laughs> I recall the oldest scene from earlier while catching my breath. Anyway, I'm sure that it wasn't something I should have seen. Some things like humans were fighting in the school grounds. That's all I can remember. But there was something else out of the corner of my eye. Wasn't there someone else too? <laughs> but I can't remember what that figure looked like. To be honest, I didn't have the composure to notice anything other than those two fighting. Sayonara, Shinji. The voice comes from right in front of me. I can't breathe. My brain stops, and even though I cannot think, I vaguely understand that I am going to die. You're going to die! You're going to die! <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> And the man's last 
the man the man slants mercilessly, pierces Amy Ashiro's heart. There wasn't even time to dodge it. All the training I did was for nothing. Uh, I knew I was going to be killed. Uh, I knew I was going to be pierced but by that lance, yet I could not move at all. Uh, 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 uh. The world distorts. My body grows cold. Feeling vanishes from my fingertips. The light in the sky shines down on me. It's calling me. The light. The light. I shall head towards the light. I cough up blood. <coughs> Once more blood should have come up, but it only happens once. Perhaps the man's lance is special. The blood slowly clots, and the heart that should have exploded stops working with just a single pierce. I can't see well. There's no feeling in me. I feel like a jellyfish floating in the dark sea at night. I don't feel any pain. The world is white, and I and only I am black. Oh, he's got the N-word pass. So rather than feeling like I'm dead, it's more like the world around me has disappeared. Oh no, don't go, don't go into the light, no. I know this, I feel, I felt this 10 years ago. This is how someone feels when dying. <laughs> I cannot concentrate on my vision. Shit. I can only hear voices. A voice filled with irritation. And after that, I hear footsteps running through the hallway. How are you still alive? You got pierced in the heart with a fucking spear. Like your heart should have been like a big ass hole inside it. And like you're, ble you're bleeding and the blood is like spurting and like fucking like shoom shoom, you know? Like what? Oh my, he's still. The voice suddenly disappears. I guess he jumped out of a window or something. And after that, footsteps approach me and stop. In that brief period, more footsteps. I can't hear much now. Dead. Uh. Whose voice was that? I can I concentrate my fainting mind, but I can't remember anything right now. My breathing is too noisy. My lungs must still be alive. The air coming out of my mouth is as loud as a hurricane. It's impossible he's still alive, man. No shot, he's still alive. I sense someone looking at my face. Perhaps my breathing was loud as the figure tries to close my mouth and. I hear the person grit their teeth and they touch me without hesitation. With that, my mind stops fading. Feeling returns to my body, slowly, bit by bit, like a drop of water going down a leaf. Feeling returns to my body. What is the person doing? The person is sweating, and they place their hand on my chest with all their heart. When I notice the place where the person placed their hand is terribly hot, it must be so hot that the frozen blood melted and started to flow again. I sense someone take a deep breath and sit down. 
I hear a clang or something falling. Well, that's not true. Don't say that, Richard. Ah. And that's it. The person speaks to mock. The person speaks to mock himself and leaves. My heart resumes its activity. And then my mind stops. This is not the sleep of death. This is a restful sleep to recover the energy to wake up again. You should just die. Just die, man. Just go far. Just go into the light. Just go into the light. You know, the angels with their arms open. They want, they want to hug you. They want to welcome you into <laughs> afterlife, you know? Go into the light, Shiro. No. I wake up. I feel sick. My whole body is in pain. And I have a sharp headache each time my heart throbs. <laughs> I can't remember because of the sharp headache. My body is cold, probably from lying on the floor for a long time. The only certain thing is my ripped uniform and my own blood on the floor. I get up with a hazy head. The spot where I was lying looks like a murder scene. Had my chest had my chest pierced? Yes, man. You were supposed to be dead. Bearing the pain, I enter a closet room. The closest classroom. Moving to the locker with unsteady steps, I take out a mop and a bucket. Wow, what a good guy. He's gonna clean up his own blood. I'm still confused. Why do I still think I have to clean up? When I've just met something totally outrageous and been killed instantly. Am I an idiot? It idiot? You did not get killed instantly, man. You were like still alive for f 10 fucking minutes after getting your heart stabbed. I wiped up. I wiped, I wiped the blood with the mop with unsteady hands. I managed to get the blood wiped off and pick up any trash lying around and put it into my pocket. Wow! Wow! Of course, maybe I'm just throwing the evidence. I'm still in a daze, so perhaps that's why I'm doing something so absurd. I put back the mop in the bucket and leave the school like a zombie. I get hotter as I walk. The air is so cold, but it feels like my body is burning. At home, the day has already changed. There's no one home. Neither Fujine nor Sakura is around now. I collapse to the floor. I lie on the ground and finally calm down. I take a deep breath. When I inhale, my heart cries in pain as if cracking apart. Bro! No, that's wrong. It wasn't just cracked. It had a hole in it, but it healed and the wound tries to open up again when I inhale. Bro, no way, they, your heart could have healed. It's impossible. Impossible. <laughs> you were killed. You just, you just were miraculous. God, God, so God is godly, godly miracle. Wait, what the hell? No, that's wrong too. I wasn't almost killed. I was actually killed. Smart boy, smart. But I'm still alive in spite of that. Because someone saved me. Since the person was there, the person might have something to do with them. But that makes no difference to the fact that the person saved me. I have to thank them one of these days. The moment I let my guard down, the pain returns. At the same time, I feel like vomiting, vomiting blood. I sit up and resist the sickness. I place my hand on my bare chest where the uniform is ripped. Where the uniform is ripped. Even though I was saved, I did have a hole in my chest. Exactly, man. That feeling. Such an unpleasant feeling. A spearhead into my entering my body isn't something I can forget easily. 
If I close my eyes, I feel like the lance is still in me. I shake off that illusion and try to calm down. The result of all the training every day, of training every night, just taking a few deep breaths clears my mind and the heat and nausea vanish with my body. A man in blue and a man in red. They looked human, but I don't think they were. Were they like ghosts or something? But I've never heard of ghosts with form, able to associate directly with people, even holding weapons and fighting with them. Oh my god, and they were talking too, as if they have their own will. It's hard for me to think of them as ghosts. I've heard that the only ghosts with a body are spirits, but aren't they shaped differently from humans? Yeah. There's another fundamental problem. Those two who were killing each other. The murderous burglar that has appeared in the neighborhood. The ongoing ominous events in Fuyuki City. It was them. It was those guys. It was those ghosts. Those beings. All I can tell with such thoughts is that it's way out of my league. Perhaps because the wound on my chest is so vivid, I complain about things I shouldn't. Complaining comes later. First, I have to decide whether or not it's my concern. <coughs> oh no, the bell hung from the ceiling rings. This is Omega's house, even if only a poor one. There is a boundary field that alerts me when a stranger enters the property. Oh no. Dorobo Neko. As if I speak, I realize my foolishness. That can't be it. Oh no, he's after me. He's back. With his timing, right after that strange incident. That can't be it. There's an intruder. Not a burglar, but an assassin who's here for my life. Run, Chino, run. Because I remember that guy saying, he saw us, so die. He's gonna finish the job. Doop, doop. The house is filled with silence. In the silence, in the silent darkness, the murderous intent I felt it's cool is slowly drawing closer. <coughs> my throat gulps. I feel a sharp chill running down my spine. I will be instantly pierced if I move from this room. <coughs> I frantically contain the scream about. To escape my mouth, the instant I release it, the assassin will happily jump in and take the opportunity to kill me. If that happens, it will be just like before. I'm prepared. I will be pierced by that lance again. Uh. The moment I think about it, my breathing goes wild. Damn it. Damn it. I'm ashamed that I'm about to give up my saved life so easily and that I'm afraid. Gritting my teeth and holding my chest, I try to restrain myself. I should get used to it. This is the second time. This is the second time I'm about to be killed. The third time, technically, third time. That alone is enough to make me want to end it end differently from the last time. Besides, I'm Omegas. What have I been learning for the past two years? If I can't even protect my own life. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Fight. Fight. Do not run. Fight. Enough thinking. Right now, I just have to counter the intruder. Even though I'm a magus, all I can do is strengthen something that could be a weapon. To fight, I need a weapon. The shed has lots of things that could become weapons, but it's too far away. If I'm attacked when I leave the living room, it will just be a repeat of what happened earlier. It'll be difficult, but I have to find a weapon here. Something long and thin would be my best. Would be best. My opponent's weapon is a lance, so something like a knife won't do. I need a lance, a bow. No, you need a sword, a saber. But of course, there's nothing. If anything here could be a weapon, it's. It's fine, Shiro. Save sabers counter lancers. I'm disappointed. But despite that, I'm determined even if this hopeless, in this hopeless situation, 
things are already as bad as they can be. So they can't check. They can't get any worse. So all I have to do is run forward until I run out of energy. Trace. Oh. With the words that suggest my reconstruction, I channel my magical energy into the 60 centimeter long poster. Ooh, that's about the length of a sword. Good job. I have to turn into something that I can that can repel that lance. So I need to channel magical energy into every corner of and solidify it. Basic quality. I extend my consciousness, as if soaking my blood into the poster through my skin, permeate magical energy into it. I sense that I've hit the bottom, right before the magical energy overflows from it. Torres, off. Torres, off. I cut off all connection with the poster and shudder at the feeling of success. The poster is now as hard as metal, but it is as light as it was before, so I couldn't ask for a better sword. Damn, you feel so proud of it. How many years has it been since I last succeeded the strengthening magic? It's kind of ironic, the magic I've never been able to achieve. Since Kiritsuku died, it's finally working in this kind of situation. I might be able to do something now. I have some knowledge of how to use a sword. I hold the poster with both hands and stand up. I'll die anyways if I stay here and I think I would be able to flee even if I escape this house. So all I can do is to run straight to the shed and make a stronger weapon. Come if you're going to come. It won't be like before in the instant I think that. BAM! He's here! My whole spine shivers. When did he arrive? Appearing from the ceiling, the guy drops straight at me. Huh? Nani? Uh, silver, silver light descends upon me. The guy that seems to have come straight through the ceiling descends it to pierce my head. Kimi! Uh, uh, I frantically escape by rolling forward. He lands softly while I keep rolling, but I stop rolling and stand with my freshly made sword in hand. He turns to face me, looking bored. He raises his lance again, seemingly uninterested. I don't know why, but he lacks the spirit he had at the school ground. In that case, I might be able to outwit him. That's not true. He's a warrior. This is a battle-hardened warrior. The man is complaining as if he thinks nothing of me. I slowly move backwards. It's about three me three more meters to the window. Once out of the window, about 20 meters to the shed, then I can run off this instant. He just blanks. He says blankly as if sighting out. Pain assails my right arm. It happened in an instant. The man's lance is thrust without time for me to react. I would have to face I would have faced my second death with that blow. But what prevented it was my newly made sword. He must have thought it was just paper. That lance trust thrust as if the poster wasn't there was deflected by it and only skimmed my right arm. Oh, the man's expression goes away. His carelessness disappears, and he's now staring at me with a beast-like eyes. <coughs> I screwed up. I was just being stupidly optimistic when I thought I could do something. The thing before me is a monster beyond belief. Yes, he's, he's a monster. He's a killing machine monster. The eight foot tall giant Spartan spear man. Painfully, I realized my foolishness for letting my guard down even slightly regardless. That's it, right? If I'd, if I'd been really desperate, I should have ran frantically to the window as soon as I miraculously avoided his first attack. Points his lance at me. 
I won't, I wouldn't be able to block it. I can't possibly block that lightning fast blow. If his weapon were a sword, I might have been able to eat to at least prepare for it. But that's a lance. A sword follows a line, but a lance has a point. How am I supposed to block a blow from a point? But that I can't even see coming. Easy. Playing with his food. Ah, Ransa. The man's body descends in that instant. His lance is swung sideways. I block the lance coming out my face with just my instincts. There's a huge whirlwind. I don't, I don't know how he's moving the lance in this small room, but it makes beautiful art and comes to attack my body from the other side. My constructed sword moved to stop it. Been bends. Is he? Is he using a hammer? Damn. This numbness feels like I've broken the bones in my arm. I swing the sword instinctively. He must take me lightly as if he wasn't as if he hasn't pulled back in his lance. So I flick away the shaft with my sword. Yeah. The arms that hit it go numb. The sword bends even more. And the man's is the man's lance only moves slightly. But I used up my one and only chance for a makeshift for just a makeshift attack. That's why he sees no point in fighting me anymore. He readies his lance again during that small unnecessary move. Without looking behind me, I jump out the window. I think this is a perfect time to stop. That's a good transition. I was waiting for that. I really need to take a piss and um plus I played long enough. So um anyways, Shiro jumping out of the window. Perfect transition for finishing this video. Um thanks for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.